Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the Weekly Home Fragrance Roundup where we talk all things um, candles and wax. So I hope you guys had a really great week. My week was a little bit rough. If you've seen some of my videos from this week, you know that I managed to get a little sick. I am much better today. Um, I am starting to really be able to like breathe through my nose again, which is delightful. I'm still a little bit stuffy, but for the most part, I actually feel fantastic today, which, which has not been the case for most of this week. So despite the fact that I was <clears throat> basically just moving between my bed and the couch in the family room, I was still doing all of the home fragrance because I it is just a part of my routine. It makes me feel normal, it makes me happy, and even though I couldn't smell things the way that I could normally smell them, um, it still made me happy. So I still have candles that I was burning this week. I still have um, wax melts that I was melting. I will say the one thing that I really wasn't doing much of this week was anything with my candle crocs. Um, I don't think I had anything going in either of my three candle crocs. If you are new here and you don't know what a candle croc is, I will, right below this video, there's this nice big description box. I will put links to a couple of videos that explain what a candle lamp as well as a candle croc is. Um, I didn't even use my candle lamp. I haven't used my candle lamp for a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, I haven't used either of those two things and if you don't know what they are check out the videos in the description boxes i will also put links to my favorite candle lamps and candle crocs that i think are the best quality oh hi penny are you joining us today too you guys it's a pug extravaganza so the snorting that you hear it's the dogs <clears throat> and if alf could like not knock this camera down that would be ideal we'll see how it goes now they're doing their little dance around the camera. <laughs> anyway, you guys, so um, let's get started. I also, you guys, I got my homeworks package. My last order that I placed was when the, um, when my beloved came back, this, yeah, as soon as this dropped, I was like, get in my cart and to my house. It's the berry pumpkin waffles. Um, I also have one of the originals that I brought down. So, um, uh, this order shipped crazy fast. Normally it takes the donkey a very long time to go across the Lewis and Clark trail of the United States of America. But this week, this donkey, I don't know, he had like rocket boosters attached to him or something because I got this order in record time. And um, so I thought I would go over this fragrance and then the other two Halloween scents that I picked up. So we'll save that for the end of the video, but let's get started with what I was burning this week. So busted out some Bath & Body Works leaves. This is a classic. Um, and I have to say this one is burning quite well. There's no discoloration. It has those thick wicks, but it's doing quite well. Leaves has been at Bath & Body Works for years and years and years. We all know what this smells like. This is one where even when I have like my stuffiest nose, I can always smell this. <laughs> like It's such a distinct, strong, classic fall scent. Um, so the notes are crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Yeah, like no matter what, this is always one that goes past all of like the stuff that you might have in your sinuses and still reaches your like smell receptors. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, love me some leaves. There's usually at least one that I go through each year. It's it's not something that I burn like multiple times over and over and it's not like a holy grail, but I feel like it's just, it's a part of the fall tradition, right? Like who doesn't get leaves? Um, now this I love. I've actually gone through... Um, definitely I have one empties for this month already of the perfect autumn from Bath and Body Works. I really love this one because I think it pairs so nicely with harvest leaves from, uh, Homeworks. I'll talk about this one here in a second, but I just think these two together are kind of like, they're the perfect complement to each other because they share like a nice deep cranberry note man do I love cranberry in the fall but this one the first one that I burned burned really well this one is burning really well so from time to time I do still have wins with Bath and Body Works it's just that the wins are they don't outnumber the like 
bad experiences most of the time, unfortunately. And by bad experience, I mean I still get my money's worth out of the candle, I feel like, at the end. It's just that I'm not getting it by being able to burn the candle like I used to be able to do. A lot of times I have to put them underneath the lamp or I have to put them in the crock because they get super sooty or discolored and that... Once the wax gets dis discolored with Bath & Body Works candles, I feel like it really changes the fragrance for some reason. So I have to be really careful to make sure that I catch a candle before it gets to that discolored point. Because even when I put it in the crock after that, sometimes it doesn't smell quite right anymore. It's weird. Anyway, I love this scent. And this is another really, really small one. So uh, cranberry, pumpkin spice, crisp apple, rich clove. It's kind of a quintessential fall type scent. But then we have the Harvest Leaves, which I just think these two, they're kind of sister fragrances. Um, Harvest Leaves is Spice Pumpkin Mandarin Cranberry for Balsam and Applewood. They're just beautiful together and just kind of along the same vibe. And yeah, if you have both of these, you should burn them at the same time. They, they play really nicely off of each other, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, in this room here, in this holder that you see on this table, by the way, those pine cone candle pedestals that you see in my reviews and then back here and around the house and the house tour, those are the Homeworks cand candle pedestals. And um, that particular design is something that Harry originally came out with when he first started releasing these candle pedestals. I have the original silver one. And um, I was so glad when he decided to bring it back because, um, you know, he made this big deal out of like once, you know, once one of these designs goes away, I'm probably not ever going to bring it back. But I was super grateful when he brought these back and he brought them back in a few different like metal tones. So the rose gold is what you see in my review videos. This is more of like a rustic gold. Um, there was a silver as well. They're just really beautiful. Anyway, um, what was I burning in here? This is oh man this one is so good this is so sweet and delicious and this is one that a lot of you seem to be finding at home goods and tj maxx it's the toasted vanilla pumpkin so so absolutely delicious and this one is a fantastic performer um by the way my harvest leaves is doing really good this is a harvest leaves from 2019 i'm just kind of going through my backup stash um, I haven't burned one of the new ones that I purchased from the... Oh, great, you brought back a shoe that you're not supposed to have. This is not yours. Thank you. Um, <laughs> he says... He automatically, like, when he has something in his mouth that he's not supposed to, he's like, ah, crap. Like, he'll give it up. Like, sometimes we'll play the chase game, but for the most part, he's like, mm, I knew I wasn't supposed to do that. You're very cute, sir. <laughs> anyway, this is absolutely delicious. Um... I don't know where I was going with that story, but moral of the story is if you can find this at your Marshalls or TJ Maxx or whatever for $16.99, get the ones that they have. I don't think you will regret it, especially, you know, obviously if you can smell it in store and if you like it, it's a really great performer for me. The strength and throw are quite good. And um, yeah, I mean, if I find this at any of those places, I'm, I'm buying what they have. I could also order just more from the website, but Okay, burned a little bit more of my Colonial Candle White Pumpkin and Clove. This is the very last one that I have in my collection. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm enjoying it this year. Also, the Spiced White Pumpkin from Homeworks smells almost exactly like this. So I feel like, I feel safe to burn this now because I have a replacement. So, um, back to Bath and Body Works. We've got pumpkin carving going. Um, this is another one that is quite strong. Um, fresh carved pumpkin, uh, pumpkin spice seeds, smooth brown sugar. Delicious. Just, and another Bath and Body Works classic. And this one's burning really great too. Uh, I gotta say, you guys, it, it is, it's been a good Bath and Body Works week. I'm gonna give it to Bath and Body Works this week. I give credit where it is due. Um, you know, there, it, and just so you guys are aware, like, no candle company is perfect. Like, I have complaints about homeworks. There are things that, you know, like with Kringle where... You know, I wish that they would <laughs> put all the country candle scents in the soy formula because I just love their soy formula and I don't really care for pear. You know, and like every company has things that they do well and that they don't sometimes and whatever. Anyway, Bath and Body Works is doing a great job this week, so I'm I'm gonna give them a pat on the back. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, pe pecan, pecan, pecan. I have this one in my kitchen. It's so good. I like doing this one in the morning when I'm having my coffee before taking Stella to school. Um, 
Sorry, cell is coming down the stairs. So now <laughs> he's such a little guard dog. Um, let's move on to berry pumpkin waffles. Here is one of the originals, right? This was uh, well, this was from 2020, fall 2020. This came in a duo. Um, was this? I'm trying to remember because like this came out originally and it was paired with something else and then it came back again and I think it was in a set of two. Hopefully my memory is serving me correctly. Sometimes it does not, so forgive me. But anyway, th this one is from fall 2020 regardless. Um, and it is that very classic original version of this particular scent. So blueberry, pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla bean. And I was so excited when Harry finally brought this one back because it had been a while, right? Like a lot of us really love this scent. So um, I picked up, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm trying not to do a bunch of like extras. Um, usually when I order from the homeworks.shop, I just get one of each to be able to review. And then, you know, like that's it. <laughs> but I made an exception for this one and I did order um, I, a few. I'm not gonna say how many. Um, so the notes here read blueberry, pumpkin, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and vanilla bean. So there was a slight tweak here in that we have the blueberry, pumpkin, and cinnamon. We have the nutmeg. We have the vanilla bean. But this has the addition of clove, apparently. And I will say, it's, it smells very, very, very close to the original. I don't really... If there is clove in here now, it's very light and it's not coming out really on cold sniff. I think I'm going to have to burn it, but it smells very, very close to the original. And some people were like wanting something to compare this to in terms of like smells. I can't think of anything at Bath and Body Works because it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like the berry waffle cone. Some people were thinking that it smelled like that for some reason. Captain Crunch Berries. I feel like that is. If you've smelled that cereal, this is kind of reminiscent of that. I don't think this is a cereal scent for me because I do pick up, you know, like the blueberry, but it's kind of that candied blueberry. And it's that same kind of candied blueberry scent that you get in that cereal. I think that's where maybe the comparison comes through. Um, but yeah, like you get that little bit of cinnamon in there, that touch of just kind of a generic pumpkin. It's just, it just smells good. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I have nothing bad to say about this because I just, have, I've loved this scent forever. But what I, what I will need to determine obviously is what it, what is our burn quality here compared to what it was from one of the more like original scents, right? Like how is, how is the strength and throw? Because I think that that's the thing that most of us have been struggling with the most from homeworks. Okay. Other things that I burned this week, reviewed, finished, um, the glazed honey graham, um, that's all done. This burned just fine the whole way down. I reviewed this one if you're interested. Um, I will try to remember to link it down below. Um, and then I also finished the uh, farm stand pumpkin here. Um, really like this one a lot. Would absolutely repurchase. It's delicious. And um, let's do the wax melts here real fast. And then um, I will kind of sniff through the other two Halloween scents that I picked up in this last homeworks order. Okay, kettle corn from uh, Country Candle, delicious. Smells like kettle corn. Um, by the way, ooh, you guys, so excited. So I, I'm a Kringle ambassador. We were able to pre-order, so um, I emailed uh, Ashley, who is our contact over for the Kringle ambassador program, and I let her know the holiday scents that I uh, wanted to review, which, spoiler, just, I'm just going to review all of them. Um, their holiday scents sound so amazing this year, and they also have a Bavarian Christmas one that, oh, it's just, it looks so beautiful. I'm so excited um, to share these, and we are, as soon as we get our candles, our packages, we are allowed to share them with you, so I don't have to, like, wait for like a certain like release date. Um, I don't know that we have exact information on when everything will be released to the public, but they want us to be able to share our thoughts on the fragrances 
with you guys before they release to everyone else so i did order them they are on their way to me i made sure to put my order in as soon as i possibly could it usually takes me a little bit longer to get stuff over here on the west coast because everything's coming from massachusetts but it'll be here anyway so moral of the story is uh yeah also some country <laughs> apple cider cake i'm just so excited about these holiday scents and the labels are super cute too i'm actually really excited to share those with you guys and by the way, I've had some people asking about my Kringle collab. I don't have I don't have an expected release date on that. Um, I am at this point kind of waiting to hear for next steps from Kringle. Um, I have finalized the fragrance. I, I know what the blend is and I sent them the final formula that I wanted my fragrance to be to them. So um, at this point, I still need to find a label and I need to think of a name. So I still have a little bit of work to do on my end, but I'm kind of waiting for them to tell me what next steps are. As soon as I know, I will let you guys know, I promise. Um, this is the Kringle Candle Gorgeous Scent in the Wax Melt. By the way, these wax melts from, um, from Kringle, they last a day. Um, they're not like my Scentsy wax where I can get at least a couple of days out of, you know, a couple cubes of wax. With the, um, with the, with the Kringle and the Country Candle ones, they last a day and then they're done. And I'm, that's fine. Um, you know, I usually buy those when they're on some kind of sale. So I think the price point is okay. And then obviously I also use my discount code. <laughs> for my own orders as well so I save a little bit more money I just I feel like for the price point I guess I'm okay with it but um I just don't want you to purchase them with the expectation of like getting multiple days of melting out of these like probably like an eight nine ten hour run is what you're going to get out of a couple of cubes okay black currant and and plum from Scentsy this is really nice but this is quite perfumey I expected this to be a lot more like fruity and it is it is very fruity but it's a perfumey fruity but i really like it if you haven't tried this one you should we have some scary good which is a really nice kind of basic pumpkin pumpkin spice scent um if you like pumpkin carving you'll probably like the scary good um i think it's quite nice we have a graham cracker crunch i was so glad that this came back it smells like honey made graham crackers um basically if you liked this scent from homeworks this is Dare I say this is even a better take <laughs> on a honey made graham cracker because this also has like what is it just maybe like a light schmear of like a creamy smooth peanut butter. I don't know. Anyway, and then um, Stroop Waffle Delight, which this is in my club. I don't this is not currently available. And then Sips of Cider. I really like Sips of Cider. This is very unique. It's very fresh. Yeah, I really actually enjoyed this one. I didn't mix it with anything. I thought I was going to mix this with something else to make it more pleasant, but I actually like it better warming than I like it on cold sniff, I guess. So those are nice. And then the last two Halloween candles. Okay, so I also popped one of these in my order. This is the Blood Orange Brew. Um, by the way, I'm not really into like the Halloween candles per se like I'm not a big Halloween per I'm a huge fall person I am not a Halloween person but I was really excited to try this because I really thought the notes smelled delicious and I like this I really like this on cold sniff and it smells quite strong to me on cold sniff even with my like stuffy nose I can still get a really good whiff of that so that's a good sign um, the notes on this one are blood orange, star anise, uh, pomegranate juice, and cinnamon stick. I really get that star anise in here, and I like that. I use star anise when I make my glue vine around the holidays. Um, I just, I love that note. It's just, it's that aromatic, delicious, like, it just, I don't know. It, it screams fall to me. It screams the holidays to me, so I really like that. And the blood orange in here is delicious. It's definitely, a, like, a deeper, richer orange versus, like, that classic, like, bright you know florida orange juice kind of situation so i like that on cold sniff i'll definitely burn it now the spooky vanilla this one took forever to come in and then um that's my kid by the way <laughs> she still exists <laughs> um this took forever to get in and i was a little nervous because this is a, a situation where of course harry was like let's put some caramel in this he loves i swear he loves putting caramel in everything so this is vanilla caramel dark woods and musk I did not know what to expect from this, but I really quite like it. Um, I hope it gets a little bit richer and deeper and a little bit stronger when it's burning. 
but I like what I smell on cold sniff. Now, the, I was afraid of the musk in here, kind of like throwing this off, but this is like a very like gourmand scent. There's The muskiness doesn't make it weird. I like it. I like it on cold sniff, so I just got to burn it, see what the burn quality is, obviously. So that's what I have for you guys today. I've been talking for so long. I'm just going to hop off here now. Check out the description box down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new and um, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to be sharing my top five um, candles, like fall candles for this year. I like to kind of do that video. And I know, sen uh, I know that Lisa and I also owe you guys like a fall favorites for Scentsy as well. We, we really need to get together to work on that. So um, information on that coming soon. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo!